you're not even gonna do anything like you know let me introduce myself since that's going my channel all right who are you <laughs> all right everybody welcome to the gaming corner my name is matt and today my oldest son aaron also known as the slade king which i'll have him linked in the description Ooh. went and picked himself up a japanese version of the sega saturn which he unboxed on his channel, and we have it sitting right... Ooh, this thing is kind of heavy, too. Hmm. Damn. Sitting right here. Love the look of this thing. Oh, yeah. Look at that gray, black, blue... I mean, beautiful. Beautiful cheesy! Mm. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to disconnect my Saturn. Don't mind the dust. We're going to hook his up and make sure it works. Now, over here is where I do all my stuff at. So make sure I'm on the right HDMI switch first, which is number three, I believe. Yep, number three. All right, so make sure we're on number three. That will come up on this screen once we fire it up and see if it works. All right, so let's unplug my Saturn and plug his in. Now, if you're going to put any, like, games in there, are you going to need to... No. No? Oh, you have Japanese I games? I have Japanese games. Oh. I buy a, a quite a bit of Japanese games. My camera work is going to be terrible, by the way. Yeah, camera work will be. All right. First, the source. I wish I had better lighting over here. All right, it is all plugged in. I'm gonna take my controller that I just bought recently. Get that plugged in. All right, we're gonna put a game in right away. Let's see, which one do we wanna run on this thing? Not soccer. We'll go with Fighting Vipers. Ooh. Fighting Vipers is in. We will power it on in a second when we change this on over to the correct system. And power. We got a green light! Ooh. And over here, boom, battery might be dead. But that's not a problem. I don't read Japanese, sorry. There actually might be a way of changing it. Controller works fine. As you can hear, there's no sound right now because I don't have the sound turned on. I should probably do that. Nah. But, he's got a Sega Saturn from Japan. It works. Nice. Work just fine. I did not know you could actually change their hair color. Oh. <laughs> I got to learn something new. Neat. So up and down works on my controller. I already know the controller works. So, but all right, that's his Saturn. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, my Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the second thing he picked up was a Sega CD Model One. I'll switch over to my Sega. Just get that going for a minute. Why did I not see a picture? Yeah, I'm on the right one. All right. Oh, maybe you didn't see a picture because it's unplugged in the back. That shouldn't matter with that. All right, um, now this Sega CD Model 1 that he picked up is supposed to have a problem reading games. It does read some games, correct, is what it said? Uh, it boots up, 
it can open the CD drive and close it. The CDs, you know, fit fine. Um, it plays the animations on the screen, so it gets, you know, power and uh, video audio. Uh, the only thing it doesn't do is read the discs once they're in. All right, now that could be a simple laser replacement. We have to buy the laser, don't have that yet, but we need to test it out and see if that is the problem. I'm gonna make sure we get sound from this one though. All right, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take my Sega CD here, which he's already unplugged for me. We're gonna disconnect it from my tower of power. Put my Sega CD on out. Remember not to sit on it. <laughs> Cheap thrills. Plug it in, give him the tower of power. And then we'll plug back in all of the uh, stuff. Don't show Jay's two cents all the wires. Yes, don't show Jay's two cents all the wires. I have to go back and redo my wire management later. One of the cats is meowing like a madman. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Bear. Where the hell is he? He is in the dining room. All right, so we have his Sega CD hooked up and I almost sat on mine. <laughs> Remember when you said, uh, don't forget to not sit on it? Don't forget that it was there on the seat? And then you now, almost forgot? <laughs> we need to grab a Sega CD. Hmm, which one? Yeah, I'm seeing which one's closest, which one's available easiest. Let's see here. Here we go, Tomcat Alley. Need the box for this one. All right, so we are going to power it back on. Whoa. That did not sound good. That is a problem with the CD drive right there. So I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Let's see if we can read, get it to happen again. Well, we do have picture. Yep. So and sound. Good. I hooked up the sound for this one. It's nice and clean. Everything lights up good. So that sound you heard at the beginning, you might be able to hear. Let me try reopening and reclosing it once. That's gears. Ooh, less good. Yes, that's good because that does that does mean the Sega CD laser and all that is bad. That's a thirty-five dollar part. And just like that, we solved the problem. Yes. But do I have a different game I won't mind burning and killing if I put it in there? Yes, I do. Where is it? Where's my other Joe Montana? I have two Joe Montana footballs. We'll use my second Joe Montana football game. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Yes. Let's put it on in. Sound it better there, but let's see if it actually picks it up. So we're not getting anything picked up by it. So by looking, yes, the laser is definitely going to be shot. That should be actually a very easy fix. The gear spinning sound that you heard is definitely not good neither. So that does mean that the gears have been worn out, they're dead. Mm -hmm. That all comes in one unit. Ooh. So, like I said, it's about 35 bucks. Boom, get the whole thing. If not, then we just have to get some replacement gears, which we could probably steal off of the other Sega CD I have ordered. Huh. If we needed to. We'll see. You still got to figure out how to fix that other one. Yes, that's another that's another thing for another problem. But all right, at least he gets picture. He does get sound. We know it works that way. Why is we just gonna have to get a different laser for it? Yep. Get a new CD drive in there. Easy enough. The hell was that? All the neighbors have been redoing their driveway. Ah, could be some kind of power wash thing out there. But all right, this is where this video is going to end. Me and my son Aaron will definitely take some time looking at what's wrong with his Sega CD. If you want, you can leave it down here for now. I can take it apart tomorrow and start looking into it. But without the CD drive, I don't think it's going to do much good. We need to drive first. Yeah. So that will be part two of the video when we attempt to repair that and see yeah. if we can get his up and running. Stay tuned for part three of my Sega CD video because I'm still trying to figure out the problem there. Mm. It'll but, get there eventually. Yes, I will.
But I would like to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay cheesy, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs>